New York Times opinion. The end of meat is here. I think we've made at least half a dozen videos about how they plan on taking our meat away, but this is despicable, absolutely despicable. The agenda is in full force, twisting of words, shaming people, dishonesty all around. They have never been more straightforward about what they want to do. This was written by Jonathan Safran Foer, and now I understand why he has this opinion. He probably gets all of his meat personally injected down his throat every day by his boyfriend, so he doesn't have to actually eat meat. The rest of us, however, need our nutrition. I mean, he was involved with Natalie Portman, uh, he, she, I mean, I don't know, I, I mean, I like manly looking women, believe me, I do. Uh, but. I don't really like girly looking boys. Hey, just kidding. I do. Is any panic more primitive than the one promoted by the thought of empty grocery store shelves? Is any relief more primitive than the one provided by comfort food? We wouldn't have panicked in our past. We would have used our intelligence to procure calories, to hunt, to harvest. But with this fear mongering propaganda that is our modern media, panic is preventing people from realizing the solution, separate themselves from this government system that is controlling our food supply. Is any relief more primitive than the one provided by comfort food? This is an evil sentence, literally shaming you for being relieved that you are no longer hungry when you eat meat, treating us like slaves that should be lining up for slop, begging for table scraps. This is what they think about us. This is how they truly feel we deserve to be treated. And all of these people deserve to be lined up in front of a ditch. So this clown goes on to say how the shortage of meat has inspired many Americans to consider how essential meat is. Saying that the outbreak hotspots are where slaughterhouses were operating. Really? Why is a slaughterhouse any less sanitary than a grocery store? A produce processing plant? Hint, it's not. If anything, more chemicals and disinfectants are used in animal slaughter than any other food operation. They literally spray down every carcass with acids, bleach, disinfecting the meat in a comically unnecessary fashion. It would be as if they dipped every single apple in bleach before you ate it. That's not what's happening. Meat is literally the cleanest food you can eat. Eating meat out of a freshly slaughtered animal is cleaner than eating an apple picked off of a tree, cleaner than a freshly sprouted carrot. The fertilizers, agrochemicals, literal human fecal waste that is used on fruits and vegetables is safer to eat than meat, not to mention the amount of hands that touch produce and vegetables compared to meat is exponentially higher from harvesting and placing and transport. Do we not see the hypocrisy here? The contamination potential for fruits and vegetables is exponentially higher than any animal-based food. Plus, if we're allowed to eat food from supermarkets, why can't we go to restaurants? I mean, I, mean, I can't stand this. I'm so sick of this. The hypocrisy, how no one has any critical thinking skills anymore. How all these people would make great FEMA camp prisoners obeying everything our overlords say for your own good. And if you guys missed it, we did a video about two weeks ago about how all of these meat plants were coincidentally near newly installed cell towers and antennas. So if you guys didn't see that video, definitely check it out as these places were obviously targeted with this military weaponry they are disguising as new Wi-Fi infrastructure. And then this monkey that wrote this article tries to shame people because of the poor practices of conventional agriculture, how they have to abort pregnant pigs because meat plants are backed up, other animals being euthanized and literally piled up like garbage, how hog farmers need mental health resources. Yeah, those hog farmers probably need a psychologist because of all the metals and toxins they're inhaling on their farms every day, not because of what they're physically doing. Despite this grisly reality and the widely reported effects of the factory farm industry on America's lands, communities, animals, and human health long before this pandemic hit, only around half of Americans say they are trying to reduce their meat consumption. Grizzly reality? 
effects of factory farming? Yeah, how about how every single monocropped grain and vegetable literally destroys the topsoil, completely ruining any nutritional quality of the food? How about all of these billions, probably trillions of insects, small animals destroyed by harvesting machines and starvation? Is that not grisly? What about all of the poisonous agrochemicals being doused on our crops, diseasing our babies, our children, and ourselves? Is that not grisly? How are you going to pin factory farming on animal agriculture, ignoring the downsides of agriculture in general? We've covered this in many videos before. Only half of Americans say they are trying to reduce their meat consumption. That actually makes me excited. Maybe half of the population isn't a bunch of obedient idiots. Are you upset that people aren't complying to your agenda of infertility and impaired brain function? These demons are trying to take away the small amount of B vitamins we have left in our diets to completely rot our brains away and make us a bunch of reactive sissy la la boys. Animal agriculture is now recognized as a leading cause of global warming. According to The Economist, a quarter of Americans between the ages of 25 and 35 say they are vegetarians or vegans, which is perhaps one reason sales of plant-based meats have skyrocketed, with Impossible and Beyond Burgers available everywhere from Whole Foods to White Castle. I'm going to calm down. I'm not going to get angry. Everything we are told is a lie to fit their agenda. Everything we are told is to simply give them more control. It's for the good of the planet. It's for your safety. Stay locked in your home like a rat eating our poisonous concoctions. They're good for you. If you obey, we'll give you a gallon of cockroach milk. The comedian that wrote this article just digs deeper and deeper into the climate lie. You know, I've done a couple videos about the solar minimums and debunking climate in general. The only effect humans have on the weather is the chemicals and metals they are spraying through geoengineering. These f***ing clowns spray shit in the sky and tell you that you can't eat a burger. Ah, man, it, it's hysterical. It's amazing that people believe it. Further, the CDC reports that three out of four new or emerging infectious diseases are zoonotic, the result of our broken relationship with animals. Instant appeal to authority of a corrupt globalist organization, the CDC. The scarier part is that they aren't just going to try to convince people to not eat meat. They are literally going to take our meat away for our safety. It's dangerous to eat meat now. You'll get very sick. He even says it. It goes without saying that we want to be safe. We know how to make ourselves safer, but wanting and knowing are not enough. These are not my or anyone's opinions, despite a tendency to publish this information in opinion sections. And the answers to the most common responses raised by any serious questioning of animal agriculture aren't opinions. Someone put me in a room with this guy. I just need 20 seconds. You know, you know what? Not even. I, just give me 10 seconds. Let me crunch this guy into a basketball. We can live longer, healthier lives without it. Most American adults eat roughly twice the recommended intake of protein, including vegetarians, who consume 70% more than they need. People who eat diets high in animal protein are more likely to die of heart disease, diabetes, and kidney failure. Of course, meat, like cake, can be part of a healthy diet, but no sound nutritionist would recommend eating cake too often. I'm done with this article. It's just a rehash of all these appeal to authority nonsense studies everything the mainstream already knows, everything they've been pushing for years and years and years. We've said this a lot. The vegan diet is basically a rehash of the food pyramid under the guise of now being plant-based. And it's funny because the pyramid is the symbolism of their group of people and it's used to control us. They put everything in plain sight. By making it a pyramid, they're telling you that you will be controlled if you follow this diet essentially giving up your free will. And this anti-meat shit is pushed by those same people that were using the food pyramid. And you know, if they don't want you to eat meat or you know whatever they tell you not to do, you should probably do the opposite. Uh, I can't wait for all the carnivores in the comments to be like, oh, hey, Frank, let's eat more grain-fed steak. Uh, no, I mean, if you guys 
want to eat grain-fed steak and poison yourselves, go ahead. Uh, so the main point of this video is we need to move away from the control of the government. You know, hopefully later this year I get approved for my loan. Uh, we're going to get a farm somewhere and I'm going to start providing you guys with high quality, nutritious animal foods as soon as possible and uh, hopefully make a positive difference. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you know how to support me with all the stuff in the comments. On organ supplements, we're doing a buy one, get one free sale for the liver capsules because I'm getting new labels. You know, all of the products are beef, but it's a pig label. Whole catastrophe. The point is, we have a sale on organsupplements.com. Buy one liver. I'll put an extra one in your order for you guys. Thanks again for joining me. I can't stand this article. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs>